stop. It's a beautiful little uh, secret that we have here in Labadeen. Uh, I'll let you know as we get a little bit closer to the point there. You guys are more than welcome to take your phones out, take photos, take filming. Uh, but I'm going to ask while the boat's driving if everyone can just stay seated. At any point you want to stop the boat and uh, change some seats around, let me know. Put your hand up like this. I'll bring the boat to a stop. And then from there, you can change your seats. All right. At the stops, we have a few stops along our way today. At the stops, you're more than welcome to stand up, walk around the boat, but please don't go onto the back deck. Then. All right. Anywhere on the deck here, you're more than welcome. All right. We also have some refreshments, so at any point you'd like some water, just let me know, and myself or Willie will help you get some water. Uh, hopefully today we can give you a little bit of a thrill, and I can show you some of the beautiful scenery that Lovedy has to offer. It okay. is our whale and dolphin season, so uh, keep a lookout, maybe we see some whales and some dolphins. We're going to be navigating along our shallow reefs there. If I see anything, I'll stop along the way and we can take a look. Excellent. Right. You guys excited? Yeah. Yes, we are. Alright, let's be heading out of here. Let's do it.
a little bit of adrenaline there, man. <laughs> Alright, welcome to our first stop. This is a, a beautiful island that we like to call Amiga Island. Um, so, this little island, back in the days, had a very strange name. Does anyone know what Amiga Island means? Amiga. Friend. More specific? Girlfriend. Girl. Girlfriend. You know, so back in the days, the sailors, they would like to bring the girlfriends here because it was a beautiful island. It still is a beautiful island. And, uh, you know, they could have a little bit of paradise. They could relax, you know, have some margaritas. They go great. <laughs> and uh, it's a really beautiful island. We actually still run some tours here today. We do the Amiga Island Experience and the Discover Haiti. Back in the days, uh, this island was used for something completely different. So, when the sail ship would come through here, uh, before they headed into the harbors and the ports, they'd first stop for this island. And uh, over the trip, you know, they would get some rats along the, the, the travels, and uh, they wanted to get rid of the rats before we, they went to the harbor. So what they would do, they would anchor down here, and they would tie lines from the ship all the way to the island. And then overnight, uh, the rats, what they would do is they'd take all the food and put it on the island, all the old food that they had from the journey, and overnight all the rats would run down the lines to get to the old food. Wow. Oh. Once all the rats were off the ship, or as many as possible, they would then pick up their lines and then head into the ports. <laughs> and that was just a really neat way of getting rid of uh, all the famine on board. So it gained the name Ilara, which means... What does it mean? Really? Island of Rats. There we go. <laughs> Island of Rats. So at a point it became infested with rats and uh, it wasn't very enjoyable. So one start tourism started picking up and they realized that this could be a really beautiful place to uh, take people to. They decided to get rid of all the rats and uh, clean up all the beaches and then take their lady friends there and they called it Amiga Island. So now we know it has Amiga Island. So very, very cool. Very good. Uh, that they put in the water and the canals come from the citadel which is one of the greatest fortresses ever built it's the biggest fortress in the western hemisphere in fact, and it never got used and uh, the fortress and sometimes on a very clear day you can see it um, today is a little bit cloudy on the mountain side but um, maybe we'll see we'll see if we can go into the bay a little bit and see if we can see ourselves on the mountain there but uh, it was built in 1804 by the gentleman who brought Haiti to its, uh, um, its freedom. So his name is Henry Christoph. And he built this massive house. And he, uh, he decided to build all three types of cannons. The Spanish, the French, and the Haitian cannon. Because he thought that if the Spanish and the French decide to come and invade again, he can then, if he captures their armament, he can take it and use it in their cannons in the fortress, which is very cool. And they've taken those cannons and they've put them in the water here. So if you come for the day, you can get some smoke from here and come and smoke on the cannons, which is very cool. So, so you guys understand why they call it the, the land of the great mountains? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. The land of great mountains, man. It's so beautiful here. Mm -hmm. um, they, uh, it, this is what protects us when all the hurricanes come through from the south. You know, these yeah. mountains here, we yeah. really feel the southern hurricanes that come through. Yeah. 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 So that smoke is the active volcanoes that we have here. I'm just kidding, man. I know you said it. No volcanoes. <laughs> so along the coastline here, there's not a lot of access to electricity. So what the locals will do is they'll cook on a, a fire or they'll heat their water with fire. And um, so what they do is they go up into the mountains, they cut down trees, and they put it in a big uh, oven, basically cook the trees into chocolate and that's the smoke that you're seeing up in the mountains that's the, the baking of the chocolate and then if you see the smoke along the shoreline that's the people that are putting food and cooking the water and uh, so yeah that's the difference if you see the fires in the mountain that's the guys making the yeah. chocolate a lot of people think it's volcanoes <laughs> yeah. no volcanoes here so our next point we're going to be heading in towards the bay of just on the outside there Hopefully I can show you guys the citadel. Excellent. You ready? Yes. You guys want to take some photos of the island? Oh, yeah. yeah, you guys are the welcome to stand up, take some photos. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
species of fish and that's what the fishermen are catching up here. So um, if you see along the coastline here, there's four little homesteads and the majority of them are only accessed by water. So one of the very last bo uh, roads that uh, ends is in Labadee. And from Labadee you'd have to take a water taxi to the rest of the villages along the coastline. So which is uh, why a lot of the communities are still quite small. But also very beautiful because there's not a lot of road access, not a lot of traffic that's going in. Um, yeah, today's a very beautiful day. It is. It is so, so quiet. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be heading along the coastline to a place called Paradise Bay. It'll make a little bit more sense once we at Paradise Bay. And there's some cool stories behind the reason they call it Paradise Bay. Just to remind them, yeah. <laughs> so they can find it. Yeah. It's a, it's a, like a, what's it, a, a 
minefield for me because I have to avoid them. You see what's going on? Stop around it for me.
There is a refreshment place right there. Thank you. 